this day. Red Panda Anthem. Ian, what's up? This day. Red Panda Anthem. Red Panda, what's day. good? Red Panda Anthem. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. Elon Musk <laughs> reported Baby. about this last week when he when he uh, made the offer public mm-hmm. and um, it was news trending topic. I think Twitter, they said that they wasn't interested. A lot of people said like he wasn't serious. Poison pill them. They said that he was just doing this just for controversy or he was doing this just to start a bidding war. And lo and behold, deal's done. No bids. Yeah, deal's done. done. <laughs> Deal is done. $54, 5420 a share. Mm-hmm. Um, deal done, from my understanding. Correct me if I'm wrong. He will be, the stock will be taken off of the stock market. It will now be a private company. Correct. Owned 100% by Elon Musk. Yep. All the shareholders, they stopped trading today. All well, the sh- they suspended it and then they activated it again. They activated at the end of the day? Yeah. Well, the shareholders will be, will be bought out at the 5420 mm-hmm. share price. Yep. Um, all right. Who <laughs> wants to start? Who wants to start? It's a lot. I mean, it's interesting because again, last week when when the news came out that he had put the offer in, it was, you know, the board was the issue at, at the time. And so when I read the report today to hear that the board unanimously <laughs> voted to have him uh, take sole con- ownership, it just goes to tell you sometimes like when we read the news, we're, we're way behind. This thing has already happened, right? We're just getting the, the final details. And so think about this. The first time we heard about him actually being interested in owning Twitter was uh, April for April 2nd. And so at the time, Twitter was trading at $39.31. Since that point, the stock has increased by 38% just on the news that he might be involved. And so, so the people who had, like, let's say that they were looking at Twitter as an investment at 29 at, at $39 now automatically when, if they bought shares there and they're getting bought out at 54. So you're making about $15 a share. You got a lot of shares. That's a, a, a great buy. Um, so it's interesting, man. Like we, we saw him make news about what he wanted to do with Twitter. We heard him talking about it. We know what he's able to do when he manipulates. Well, I shouldn't use the word manipulates when he speaks his influence <laughs> and when he influences certain especially in the, the crypto space. And so now that he has a platform, and I know Ian, you spoke about this um, Saturday night, mm-hmm. the pros and cons of some the richest man in the world now having one of the top five social media platforms, it's a it's an interesting formula. It's a very interesting formula. Um, money to get power, power to keep control of your money. From a standpoint of an entrepreneur, this is one of the greatest robberies I've ever seen in history. Very interesting that after he made his bid and his offer and they told him we're gonna do the poison pill, which apparently there wasn't enough poison in the pill to kill the deal, right? Yeah, what kind of pills? And I wanna tell you, write this down. The news is not meant to tell you the truth. The news is meant to sell you advertising. That era of incredible transparency, hard hitting journalism, that hasn't been here for like 25 years. So they're never gonna tell you the truth. The truth was, no other company on earth, when they sent the email out, even replied to the email to bid for Twitter. What does that tell you about the value of the deal? Secondly, my dad was just here, just left for the airport a second ago. He was like, if they got this deal done in 20 days, that should tell you how bad the economy is. Normally, an acquisition of this size would take months. Mm-hmm. This board, if you are a fan of the show, I'm a fan of you, but you guys should have been fired long ago. That's one of the worst boards I've ever seen. I don't know how you let a media property that generates $5 billion in advertising not make any significant improvements in five or six years. Now, also, Jack and Elon are friends. So well played. If I run Rockefeller, Troy Rashad run Interscope, and I walk away, and Jamal takes my seat, please, you've been earned. Great job by Jack to walk away and then let your friend come by it. And now all the ideas that Jack had that the board wouldn't let him do the last five years, he gets included in. I want to ask you guys in chat, who are the top five people you think he's going to let back on the platform? I'll leave it at that. I told you Saturday. (laughs) Oh, and then, oh, they probably go on a little social media acquisition spree. What else is there there to buy, though? I feel like in social. Social. Huh? 
Truth Social. Truth Social? Well, that's a Everybody, company? Yeah. Ryan Bahu. Oh, Truth? Yep. That's a that's a new one. I'll leave it at that. We can go to I can <laughs> yeah, that's that's put it in the chat. Hey. Oh, but, Trump? That's Trump yeah. thing? But they, I mean, he was supposed to go into a SPAC deal with somebody. And uh, I guess it's it's on hold for now. But yeah, that, that guy's trying to, was, was trying to create social <laughs> oh, media. Oh, baby. So the, but maybe he comes back to this one, right? Yeah, now, I think, I think, it, I think they're going to let they're gonna let Trump back. Um, yeah. They're going to let Trump back on Twitter. The crazy thing is that- he, I will let my friend back on, too. <laughs> let my friends on. Yeah, let, let the gang back. You want, free, you free, want me to- I, you Free all the guys. I'll read Elon's statement, and then you want to- Yeah, so his statement was, free speech is the bedrock of a functioning democracy, and Twitter is the digital town square. Key words, town square, where matters vital to the future of humanity are debated. All right. I also want to make Twitter better than every better than ever by enhancing the product with new features, making the algorithms open source to increase trust, defeating the spam bots and authenticating all humans. <laughs> Twitter has that's a great potential. idea, though. Twitter has tremendous potential. I look forward to working with the company and community uh, to help uh, the users unlock all this potential. So that was his full statement. Hot take. If Elon in the next year lets the algos run to open source how he says and they authenticate people this is going to be the death blow for facebook because one of the things that made facebook great in the beginning is verification of users if they get all the trolls so ice i'm sorry you won't be able to troll as much on the mother you know and then y'all y'all will burn their accounts you won't be able to troll as much mm -hmm. but if they authenticate these users to advertisers it will have more dollars per user a cleaner platform and now I told you guys last year, only places to buy Dogecoin is at five cent and eleven cent. Doge spiked a little bit because of the announcement. You, if you don't think he's not going to pump that on there, it's going to be a nice little rise there. So this could be the final nail in the coffin that leads to the ultimate de demise of Facebook. Because let's be honest, people all been telling me no for the last year. Who do you guys like more, Elon or Zuckerberg? He knows what his value is worth for every asset that he has endorsed or mentioned the value of them has went up at least 52 percent mm -hmm. so well played yeah. yeah i mean i mean he has free reign as well now right like if he wants to pump something like what's to stop him it's kind of it's gonna be but i also think something is very interesting the timing of the deal right so you you mentioned that like 20 days with that which is incredible like how does that happen in 20 days obviously something must have been transpiring earlier in the year or pretty months before that but this thursday Twitter is going to be reporting its earnings, <laughs> right? And so think about the timing of that. That tells you that number one, okay, they sold the company right before they're going to report their second quarter earnings. Their first quarter earnings is like, all right, well, this this earnings report probably is going to come in pretty shabby, right? They, they, there's going to be some some tough tough losses coming in, and which is why we're like, all right, let's let's get rid of this now before we get any more bleeding. Because the offer was pretty generous. He went 38% over what the stock price was on April 1st. Yeah. So imagine if it, you know, they pulled back down. And it's like, all right, well, it's not going to hit the $44 billion offer. He's probably looking at it like, hey, nah, I just saw what you just did. Here's my new offer. I think it's important to have a broad range conversation too before we exit this Twitter talk because I feel like, uh, yeah, Elon Musk definitely, it makes sense for him to buy Twitter. He definitely is one of the most powerful people in media now that he owns Twitter, which is one of the largest social media sites. And it's important to note that the only social media site of its size that will be owned by one person. Mm. So that's important. Absolutely. Um, because he, he can really run it as a dictator. He can really do whatever he wants. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's not, that's not normal. Instagram is owned by Facebook, which is a publicly traded company. Um, LinkedIn is owned by Microsoft, which is a publicly traded company. Snapchat is a publicly traded company. Um, TikTok. TikTok Binance owns it. Is owned by who owns TikTok? Is it Binance in America? The American. They're owned by a publicly traded company. Um, so Elon's in a, in a good position right now to have Twitter which is a top five company that he owns 100%. And he just was mocking Twitter two days ago about being shadow banned and all of that. And then, you know, he, he's talking about Bill Gates 
So, you know, money talks, <laughs> money talks in this world, but for anybody that's interested, um, when these things happen, as we said, the, the shareholders, they will be bought out. Um, yeah. so they will still receive compensation for the price that, that is purchased at. Did you get those questions today? Like, should we buy Twitter well, right now? Well, that's why I'm, at, I'm yeah. answering it. So okay. that's, that's what happens with that. And then uh, a reason why, um, a company would go because most of the time you hear about private companies going public mm -hmm. and the reason why it doesn't really happen that often but the reason why a public company would go private um is you know if you look at twitter stock it really hasn't done anything for a decade um and they're in trouble and they'll probably continue to you know kind of lose money so you know the board should be doing what's in the best interest of the shareholders. That's what, that's what they have to do. That's what mm -hmm. their whole thing is. So it's like, all right, if we can make some money for the shareholders and sell it at, you know, a peak value. So a golden parachute to stop a revolt for sure. What do you say? It's a good uh, golden parachute to, to yeah. stop a revolt. Yeah. Sure. And, then, and then all those people that own Twitter shares, they'll make money. Mm -hmm. Jack Dorsey, this is interesting because he stepped down from Twitter to focus on block. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, he obviously saw he wasn't really interested in Twitter anymore. He still owns a lot of Twitter stock. So now he's get, he's going to get paid a bunch of money. Him and Elon are already business partners. Mm -hmm. He'll probably have a role in a new Very Twitter. pivotal role. I'll go on record and say that. Yeah, Very he'll probably. Pivotal, which will help block. Yeah. So... You know, there's always more than beast to eye, but this was a very impressive move that was done very quickly. Very, very quickly. Um, Elon said he wasn't budging off of his number. He wrote them. He said, if you don't accept this number, it's gonna, it's not going to be there anymore. And he didn't budge off the number. Yeah. But so it's, it's, it's a great negotiate. Go ahead, go ahead, Now I was going to say, he said it's his best and final offer. And I mean, but when you have no one else bidding, listen, if I, if I want to buy this brush for two cents and no one else is putting a bid on it, you got to sell. And this is like the board mismanaged Twitter. If they ran this correctly, there should have been no room for growth of Snapchat or the emergence of TikTok. This is what happened. We've seen it with NBA teams. Like you have the right talent, but management won't care enough because they're selling enough tickets. My <laughs> New York fans would get it. So shout out to the Knicks. <laughs> I know could have gone further, but you got to move. And Jack couldn't do what he needed to do because there's so many people on the board that didn't believe in his vision. But now if you take it private and you can run it the way that you want to, now those, ideas, watch, the changes in Twitter in one year are gonna surpass anything they did the last nine years, for sure. Um, and a big personality, even though it's been a while, by having media or owning a media company, even though it wasn't social, Ted Turner owned Turner and CNN. Mm -hmm. So it's not unusual, Bezos owns Washington Post. But that's why I say when you get to another tier of wealth, the money is just secondary at that point yeah. to be able to control and even create narrative internationally is very key yeah. for, yeah. for brand. Yeah. I'm glad you brought that up. That's important, right? Cause if you look at the, some of the wealthiest people, they all try to figure out how to have a platform where they can get their narrative out or get their mm -hmm. message out. And so when you talk about Zuckerberg and you talk about Bill Gates and now Elon's looking like working, Jeff Bezos, like what's the next thing? All right, well, now I have my, I have my piece in the game now. So it's gonna be interesting to see. Buffett's yeah. deep relationship with CNBC and NBC. Mm -hmm. He's probably the only talent that can just get a three hour block on CNBC. Like before Trump ran for president, he was on Fox Business for years every week. Yep. Those media partnerships are very key. Um, and if you wanna see an emerging media empire, Please tune in the assets of reliabilities. <laughs> and it's an amazing interview they have coming this week. But, but kudos to Elon. I have to give it to him. Now, the other stuff that I told you guys prior to, please listen. It's going to happen. But kudos to Elon as an entrepreneur. Well played. Well played. This, this day. Red Panda Anthem. Ian, what's up? This day. Red Panda Anthem. Red Panda, what's this good? Day. Red Panda Anthem. Your <laughs> boy. Going up. I know they can't stand it.